Hey everybody, this is uh, The Last Ranger, Gary, and today I have The Chase by Quiet Carry. So, uh, this knife sells for $110. I purchased it directly from Quiet Carry. I don't know if Qu uh, uh, Quiet Carry can be had elsewhere, but other than uh, this IQ, which was purchased in Drop, on drop.com I uh, do all my purchasing at from quiet carry themselves I've been following quiet carry for the past two months and getting on in on their drops I get I got in on this drop maybe a month ago three weeks I don't remember before that I got in on this drop the Eddie and I don't know if I've given this review, but I'll give it a review since I basically had this before this. So, my only other quiet carry is the IQ. So, the Eddy was my first pink scales knife, and so I decided to keep it in the family and also order the Chase in pink scales. That was the only available knife at the time when I got in on the drop. But I could have had this in any color. I chose pink. <laughs> I'm, I'm very fond of pink now. I may do another color down the road. May, maybe do a solid color different than pink. Or do a blend. Or just leave it naked. Naked pink. I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, pink is... Uh, it's growing on me. I mean, ever since this, the Eddie, it's growing on me. The pink color. I don't normally buy pink colors, but I have a pink fixed blade. Like, it's uh, black on one side and pink on the other. So, uh, let's go over the... Go over the specs of the knife this is in 20 cv steel and it's a drop point and, and it's a flat grind at first i thought it was a hollow grind but it's it's definitely a flat grind it's uh, a thumb hole, hole opener and it's not a flipper for me so maybe somebody can flip it this knife but i can't flip it because it's definitely a oh, a thumb hole roller for me it's on phosphor bronze washers and it's a liner lock and it's a about 50% lockup nice um, and unfortunately lefties it's only right hand tip up carry this is a nice uh, pocket clip by the way um, let's check it I don't know remember if it's titanium or steel let's oh it's definitely steel because this is a magnet and let's see if the back spacer <laughs> yeah there's there's no titanium and I didn't expect titanium because uh, it basically it's a hundred ten dollar knife um, let's go over the size and well, let's do some knife comparison sizes just for the hell of it I want to show you the Eddie how the difference in the eddy and how small this is this is a thumb and opening knife like a roller knife too so you can see how it compares to the eddy and for the hell of it let's uh break out the quiet carry let's see how oh, my boy let's see how it compares to the quiet carry so the Quiet Carry and the Eddie are more of a, a gentleman's knife. This is a, more of an everyday carry, if you ask me. And let's break out the bug out so you can see how it compares to the bug out. And let's get this out of the way. And let's see how it compares to the bug out. So the bug out's much larger than that. You can uh, you can see. The bug out I get a really all four fingers on there and uh, if I grip this handle 
I get all four fingers on there, but barely, barely. So let's uh, talk about the handle. The handle is four inches long. The blade is 2.875 inches. So it's under three inches, barely <laughs> by an eighth of an inch. So the knife is overall is 6.875, barely under seven inches. The handle thickness is what I found amazing. It's 0.41, so it's pretty thin. If you compare it to the bug out, I don't know if, uh, I don't have the measurements in front of me, but the bug out is probably a little bit thinner, but it's very good comparison to the bug out. The blade thickness is amazing. It's 0.1 inches or 2.6 millimeters. Again, the bug out is probably thinner, but I was amazed how thin this is. It's not a bug out killer but it's pretty thin. And the edge thickness is 0 0.02, which is 72, 0.72 millimeters. Weight is three ounces, which equates to 87 grams. So it's pretty lightweight. It's not, a, again, it's not a bug out weight, but it's, it compares to the bug out and it's very light and it's easy to stick in your pocket. And let me show you this clip. There's not a lot of room. If you see it, this clip, there's not a lot of room there, but this, this clip is very flexible. I didn't have any problem getting it out of my uh, pants. And I wear BDUs, that stands for like a battle dress uniform, like, you know, with the military wears, I use I, like a cargo pants, but I buy um, them especially. I buy them from the military. So I use this. I, I've been carrying this knife in those pants and I haven't had any problem. If you go for jeans, you might have a problem. You can see this clip. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't make a clip that's ambidextrous because I don't know how you get this uh, clip out, but you must have to take the knife up, totally apart to get the clip off. And I don't know why they didn't design on the other side that you can flip it and, or, and just provide a, 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 a clip for left hand carry. So to me is damn sexy. It's just a really good looking knife, in my opinion. I love the shape of the blade. I don't necessarily like the jimping. I, I don't, I, I, th I think the jimping is useful, but it's a little bit, a little bit aggressive. I like this jimping better. It's, it's still useful, but it's not as hard on your thumb. I love the shape of the blade and I love how the handle mimics the shape of the blade. It's like you got a sharp point coming and going. <laughs> so I wish uh, I knew who made Quiet Carry Nice. I didn't do my research, but I believe, and quote me if my, I'm wrong, I believe Quiet Carry sources all the knife parts and maybe they assemble them, them in the US. I don't know that for sure. Other than that, maybe they use a third party to make all the parts and then assemble them in the US. I don't know. Because I always like to know who makes the knife. Is it made in the USA or uh, is it made somewhere else? I, I know I said this was $110, but I would consider this a budget knife from Quiet Carry. 
I don't think they make a cheaper knife. I, I believe, I don't remember what I paid for the Eddie, but it was a, below 100, maybe $99. And I believe these two, let's get this out of there. I believe these two knives are the budget carries of Quiet Carry. This knife is not, definitely not budget. This knife was, uh, the IQ is, I think cost me $200. So there's a version uh, in steel that makes it much more expensive. If you, uh, you have the option instead of 20 CV to get LCN or LC 200 in steel, which is about $25 more adds a, a price of, of about $25 more on the knife. So, you can uh, get this knife in uh, 135 or 110. <laughs> so I have my eye on the drift or the strand next. I may even consider the waypoint, but those will have to wait for my funds to get flowing again. But I'm really glad that I picked up this. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, but uh, I'm going to see if I've reviewed this knife or given you the specs on this knife. And I ha if I haven't, I'm going to do this knife next, too. Okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go and uh, see how this, the, these uh, are good. Uh, like, this is like the baby brother or the baby sister of the, the chase. I guess it would be the baby brother because it's called the Eddie and this is called the Chase. But these are a good, uh, if you're into like a, a good pair of nice, maybe a gentleman's carry or everyday carry at like in this one, I, I would recommend this knives. I, I really like them. I mean, I, I don't my I'm not an expert in quiet carry, but I like these knives. I basically like these three knives. This is in a Elmax steel. And when I pick up, uh, I believe the drift comes in this finish. That's my next um, finish of this, uh, this kind of finish. Take care, Wayfinders. <laughs>